So, what is the same? But, given the question states the pairing of x from y is 35, means that the person was facing the direction of y to z. Okay. So, it is possible that the person could have been facing down, in which case the angle would have been all that. If the person's head was facing in that direction, then the bearing of y from x, they would have had to turn all the way from down moving up. Yeah? But CXC isn't that complicated. They're not trying to catch the students. At least you know to yourself some of these grave areas exist. And you are always on the lookout for these grey areas. Because you never know when the question is going to come up where there might be a grey area. And you will have to rationalize based on the English, based on the, the, the terminology of the question. You will have to rationalize what the actual scenario is. In this case, we put the, we're, in this case we're going to assume that it's a simple CXC question and that the person the aircraft in the very mean of x from y at 35 is from this line that y connects to z all the way to this line where y connects to y y connects to x giving you the bearing of y of x, sorry from y so by the mere fact that they say of x from y we are standing at y looking at x thus giving us the 35 degree bearing Right. Next. Bearing of Z from X is 125. Bearing of Z from X is 125. Now, previously, so you tell me where that angle will be. There are, there are two other options for the angles in this scenario. It's here. How do you prove that this is it? How, how do you know it can't be this? this is an don't, don't assume. When we go into the exam, we read the question, we rationalize what information is provided to determine what the scenario looks like, and only with that information do we proceed to answer the question. So, it could be this, it could be this. We're not concerned with the size of the 125 of Z from X, and thinking, well, okay, this angle just looks bigger, so that has to be 125. We don't make assumptions. So, how do you prove that either this angle or this angle is the 125? Oh, is it okay, so it says from X. Right. Put the dot. Put some aircraft. The bearing. From X, from this point of this destination. So the bearing of Z from X is 125. So given that, we can put our 125 again. So we, we are stepping through all the pieces of information provided in the question in order to understand the scenario. If we understand the scenario, if we remove the doubt in our understanding of the scenario, we know what the question is asking for. We can then go about seeking or calculating those that answer. Right, so Z, this point here, is east of Y. What does that really mean? What does Z, why are they telling us? Can't we see that Z is east of Y from the diagram? Why is that important? Sorry? Okay. Now you're saying a few things. You're saying close to told us north, which they didn't really tell us. It's just a, a label on the diagram. They didn't tell us. But there's a label on the diagram that says that. And always, don't be afraid to be specific. 
don't be afraid to be nitpicking in these questions because by nitpicking through the question, of course we're not going to spend a lot of time nitpicking in the exam, but now on understanding the topic, we are going to nitpick. And that's going to help us to arrive at the right answer. So, they didn't tell us anything about north, there's, a, there's an indication of where north is. Z is east of Y. Why are they telling us that? You're not sure. Okay? So, in angles, in questions with angles, some of the times you need to be able to identify where the right angle is. Sometimes. Yes. And you know what the right angle is. Oh yeah, this is 90 degrees. Okay. Do you think there could be any right angles? If you were to try to, to identify a right angle anywhere in this diagram. Clearly there aren't any. Because we have 35, we have 125, and we have an empty unknown. So, before we start identifying right angles, what can you say about this unknown? Right, so in a triangle, no matter what type of triangle, where you have three points connected in this fashion, the sum of the angles on the inside of the triangle equals 180 degrees. So, we could then write that Z is equal to, and we know the sum of the angles inside. The total is 180. So I'm just going to write that here. The total angle. Inside a triangle, that by that we mean a triangle, the total angle inside a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. 